Alright, welcome back to the channel. We are back in American Truck Simulator today. We have a new truck, or at least new to the channel. This is a 1997 International 9800i. It is, as you see, a truck. It's a box on wheels. Um, I, I mean, there's something about it that... I mean, I am a big fan of cab overs. Nothing overly special about it it's it's like i said it's just a box on wheels and uh so i found this on steam it is a free truck it's being put out by faster cgo it was originally a combined project between harvin oddfellow uh lucasi and Polly, and all of the rights were handed over to faster cgo so that he can finish up some of the po uh, polishing on it make sure the updates are there and as of 1.43, which was a uh, few generations ago in ATS, Faster CGO took it over. We have, we are doing a little bit of uh, freelancing today, rocking uh, JB Hunt. And we are in Texas, currently in Wichita Falls, and we are going over to Lubbock. It's not a long drive at all, and... <clears throat> We're just here at the station. I just made some tweaks on it. Made sure I... Uh, oh, yeah, the engine. I put a uh, Z-Mods N14 in here. It's 625 horsepower. Anyway, that is the truck from the outside. As you can see, it's getting dark. This is going to be a night drive. It is a special transport, so better luck at avoiding a lot of cars and a lot of traffic by doing it at night. And let's just get in and drive over and pick up. So we've got an, uh, Wichita Falls to Lubbock is a pretty short drive, but we do still have to drive over. It's about an hour in game to get over there. So I'll talk to you a little bit more about the truck as we're driving. Make sure we're going the right way. Am I even in the right spot? Oh yeah, that'll work. Alright, just waiting for traffic here. up on her. She's a little loud. This is uh, 625 horsepower Z-Mods N14. This is Z-Mods new version, the 5 inch, the 5 inch uh, version. And we have, uh, because it is a special transport, uh, it's not overly heavy. It's only, uh, I think we're only going to be hauling something up to about 50,000 pounds. But we do have an 18 speed, uh, initial drive 14.32, final drive 411. So we are set up to haul. And of course, we're getting up to speed pretty good here, but we're just bobtailing it. Are we getting over? Or are we staying left? Keep left. There we go. After 50 yards, turn left. But yeah, as you can turn see, left. we're getting up to about 60 miles an hour in 18th gear. So I don't really expect to be going too fast at all. This has been set up for heavier loads. As I say that, I'm kind of touching the brakes here on this Camaro. So I thought it would be cool to do a night drive. We haven't done a night drive in a while. This is supposed to have an interior light or maybe it's just the color of it. I don't know. Uh, this is, again, it's a free mod. There's not a whole lot of options on it on the inside. 
I mean, really, you can just throw a GPS on there, throw a radio up in the very top, as you see there, um, change out the steering wheel, that's about it. Not a whole lot uh, of customization going on here, but that's what I would expect from a free truck. And I kind of like doing these, uh, these trucks that are different. This one happens to be a throwback to about 20 years ago, 20, 25 years ago. And not a whole lot of people are doing videos on it, so I thought I would show that to you. If you guys are looking to do something a little bit different, but you don't want to always be buying a payware truck. All right, we're here at Pioneer. Get these, have reached your destination. get these gates open. Where are we going? Where are we going? All right, we've got our spot. And there she is. This is an electrical substation. You're coming in just about 51,000 pounds. So yeah, as I said, it's a special transport. I just went ahead and picked up the DLC from the Steam Workshop. I actually picked it up. Special uh, special transport and heavy loads is what I picked up, kind of as a combined package. Just looking at a different way to get some new cargo on here. And really, the only way to get new cargo, besides waiting for SES to do anything, is pretty much to buy a payware truck that's going to come with some... Uh, custom loads and I'm not really in the market for a new trailer I mean of course you could have new trailers all the time but I guess I'm just trying to put more of my focus on let me pull up again that was awful I guess I'm just trying to put more of my focus on other types of mods right now But maybe next video we'll have a different trailer in here. See how these special cargoes go in the meantime. There we go. I'm going to get out and get her hooked up. Okay, so that's interesting. These trailers come with the loads for the special transport. So this is not anything that I've actually purchased. It's not nothing that I've purchased in-game or anything, like an ownable trailer. And I think it's funny that they have, at least on the side, they've got the lights that indicate the four ways on. You can see them, the lights flashing in the dirt, but you can't see any of the lights actually changing on the trailer which is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, it's a little bit of a compromise for, I, I think it's, I think it was like $4 for this DLC to add like fifth, you know, 10 or 15 new pieces of cargo to our uh, inventory. So that's pretty cool. We'll go with it, but a little weird. down so you can hear this N14. I'm really liking this engine and I've used it on a couple trucks too. From the outside. Alright, let's get underway. I got beacon lights on this. Yeah, I do. That's pretty cool. One thing I do love about these cab overs, though, they have a great turning radius. I cannot see anything. 
my lights on? Where are my lights from? And those are my those are my highlights too. So that's a little bit weird. It doesn't seem like I have a whole lot of lights at all. I wonder if that's something I can adjust. Is that in these lights? Well, that's just the dashboard backlight. Huh. High beams. It's there. It's just not showing a whole lot. It's hard to see. <laughs> wow. Get these four ways off. It's just like throwing light all around the truck. That's crazy. It even has the fog lights on. Fog lights are an option on this truck. They don't do anything to really simulate. It's not like a separate button or anything like that. Or a separate switch that you need to turn on it just apparently comes on well actually maybe because i have my highlights on okay so the fog lights come on when you have the highlights on. so but it's not offering a whole lot of light at all as you can see slow down of this grate It's like super bright in the cabin, but can't see anything outside. Oh, I went across the medium. I knew that. Totally knew that. We are going to get destroyed here. take it so I can get the trailer around that pole and then we're just getting over again. So this whole idea of driving at night with these weak headlights and it being super bright on the inside, I don't think I picked the right truck to be doing this. Man, I can barely see anything. We have a truck stopping coming up. Go. I'm gonna go off the road. We got a truck stop coming up, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in, simulate a little nap get back underway when it's daytime because this is this is not gonna happen. Alright, I'll be back with you. Alright, we are back. It is now it was eleven thirty, now it's nine thirty. We got some rest. I think we still have and you know, we still have nine hours for the delivery, so plenty of time, not an urgent delivery but it'll give you a chance to see what the truck looks like in the daytime. <clears throat> By the way, this JB Hunt skin for this truck, I also found on the Steam Workshop. Really cool, I'll, set, I'll put the link down below. Also free, obviously. Everything's free on the Steam Workshop. And then we can take a look here at this electrical substation. Looks a little bit worn, which could be expected. Um, it would have been cool with this oversized load if they actually put it on the bumper again this trailer kind of was supplied to me so that I would have something with this special transport and I do believe that I actually have the option to put it on the truck I just didn't like the oversight I don't know about the banner maybe the flags I'll have to look into that um, either way we've got our little beacon lights, so that should definitely be 
plenty. And it says oversized load on the back. All right, well, well, and uh, Smarty's wheel pack. Just making it real basic and simple today. You can get this uh, truck skin. Also has a really nasty uh, rust skin. Also on, uh, also on Steam um, to make it look just super old. And, you know, I've tried a couple skins that have the rust on them, but this is like next level rust it's like 90 percent rusted um like way more than any sort of damage or or wear that you see here on this electrical substation anyway let's get going headed off to lubbock short should be a relatively short drive so another note just the parking lights on and if I go to put the actual headlights on as you see with the uh, speedometer and tachometer so it's set to like a nighttime mode but it's overly overly dramatic it would dim a little bit in a car but maybe not to that effect just a little little side note so here we go no one else coming We're good to go so yeah um, this is as I said in the beginning, this is an, an N14, Zmods N14, the five inch. And after looking at doing a little bit of research to figure out what kind of engine were typically put in these, because I do kind of like to keep it realistic when I can, not all the time, but it turns out a lot of the videos that I watched, they had N14s in this truck. So I'll try to keep it a little bit realistic. can definitely feel the weight on this now. Bob, I mean, obviously, if you're talking about comparing bobtail to any load, you're going to notice a difference, but even with 51,000 pounds, you feel it a little bit. I don't feel like I'm not going to make it up a hill or anything like that. It's just slow, and that's exactly the way this transmission's geared. factory over there still checking out all different parts of Texas I haven't been to all parts yet I really like the Corpus Christi area but yeah just trying to check out all these different cities I've hit, I've hit probably half of them just I'll slow down a little bit lighter jake on that. Let's see how if we're gonna slow way down. Yeah we are because we're gonna hit a signal. Go straight. Are we gonna stop in time? Nope. Nope. We are not gonna stop in time. And he didn't even need to stop. The guy didn't even need to stop. He just... St just paused. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? Okay. We are official... Nope. I'm an idiot. I was in the upper range still. Let's see if we can get away with not plowing into these guys. Let me back up. That'll give us some room to get back out on the street in the next two or three signals. So, looking at the interior, not a whole lot of, uh, I mean, it's, it doesn't look bad. It's definitely, definitely not the worst truck I've seen, but, you know, not a whole lot of detail. It's pretty, pretty simple. Not a whole lot of options on it, but I wouldn't expect it from a free truck. And I just like driving something new. Get those beacons on. Okay. Some beacons on some trucks, even some payware trucks, you can't even really see them during the day. I like the fact that you can on this.
All right, let's get back in before we crash. Getting up to speed. Slowly. About 50 miles an hour. Getting toward the top of the hill so we can put it into eighth. Go straight. Yeah, this probably because it's a 625 horsepower engine. It's not gonna get stuck on any hills. And I would I would say that that's probably the case even if I was taking something up to 100,000 pounds. It's just not quick. And, I mean, with a 411 differential, that's what you're going to get. Meant for hauling. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting uh, getting some more special transports under my belt. Um, so I bought, it was kind of a two-pack um, when I got the DLC the other day. It was special transports and uh, heavy loads, I think is what it was called. I think I got both of them for like eight bucks. It's pretty cool. So I want to check out some uh, driving some heavier loads. As I mentioned in previous videos, I have not been driving a whole lot of heavy loads. You know, tr mainly sticking in the twenty to thirty thousand. Um, then the last couple have been more in the fifties, kind of like this. And I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to be to. Because you, you do have to approach things a little bit different when you have, like, a head load. Once you're getting up into the 80,000, you want to make sure that you have the right engine in it. You, you definitely need to predict any, like, hills or anything like that that you might get stuck on. Make sure you've got the right transmission in it. And I'm even looking at actually getting a... purchasing a trailer so that I can do some uh, heavier loads. Um actually looking at a couple trailers from uh, that Sartana offers for some of his longer trailers. Hey, there we go. Got some horses. There we go. Well, we are in Texas. And we're going about 15 over the speed limit, so let's chill a little bit. Looks like we got a right-hand turn coming up anyway. Yeah, because of the weight here, we're just not slowing down a whole lot at all. I'm just completely off the gas. Got some cattle over there. After 100 yards, turn right. I have to give it a little, a little bit of Jake. This might be minimal Jake. Turn right. Need to get her way slowed down. Yeah, with the weight, this thing just does not slow down. Actually, let's just stay here for now. I don't think that we're going to be losing. Yep. Actually, we are losing. Losing the lane. Go straight. Don't cut in front of me. All right. If you're going to cut in front of me, then let's keep moving. This is... I don't know if they've updated the AI traffic or not, but that was very realistic. Especially in California. What am I doing? I gotta take these way wider with that um, substation on there. I think I think it's the heavy loads package that actually offers like marshals and you know police to kind of guide you along the way. I thought it might be with special transport and maybe it is with certain loads, but it's definitely not the case in this one. So maybe not too realistic to be carrying something that wide and not having it being marshaled. Okay, 
kind of nice being back in an 18 speed too. I've been driving a lot of 15 speed ever since I put out the um, what was it, the last video or the video before that on the the mod that I have for a 15 speed. Really just like going through the patterns, and but it makes you think a little bit. 18 and 13, it's a little bit more automatic because I've just been we just drive those more often. Just don't have to think about it too much. 57 miles out of Lubbock. We're actually going to be dropping off at 50, so a little bit before the main part of town. Like I said, this is a nice short drive, which is great because we're only, I mean, basically somewhere between 55 and 60 the whole time. Just wanted to check out this truck, see what it's all about. centered on the road, it just really is too wide. I'm going to basically prioritize, stick over to the right a little bit more so that the cars in the left lane can get by, and then make sure you're not going to clip anything when you turn on the right. Should be exiting pretty soon. That, that truck, it's got that uh, excavator on it. I think that would probably be more like a heavy load, more in the heavy load package. I think the special pack, the special transport load is more like unique uh, cargo. Like I've never really seen a, an electrical substation before, so it's pretty cool. I think they even have like they have like a helicopter, they have, I think one of them is a, like a modular house. Keep right, after 50 yards, exit so, right ahead. Pretty cool for four or five bucks. Add some different cargo in your life. Exit right ahead. And I'm not entirely sure because they obviously have the option to provide the trailer for you with this. I don't know if we can get the tra special transports with an ownable trailer. Anyone that knows about that, let me know. I'll be trying it a little bit uh, for myself too. Really, really struggling to stop, but I still have um, brake intensity turned down quite a bit. For realism, I like to do that. Sometimes it puts me in a pretty rough spot, but that's just because I'm just going to chalk it up to the fact that I haven't been paying enough attention. So, yeah, even on a little incline like that, absolutely no problem getting started. Not with this transmission. I think we got a one left. No, we're going straight. Looks like we're dropping off on the right. Where are we dropping off? We are dropping off. Here we go. Yeah, we're doing okay. Even starting off in second, that's pretty good. Looks like we're dropping off at BP today. I don't know why BP needs a, an electrical substation, but apparently they do. Not here. This is beaten. This is loves. Your destination. Where are we drop? Are we seriously dropping off here at a gas station? That's a little weird. So, <clears throat> in order to make sure that I was getting a special transport load and that I wasn't going to go too far, I actually arranged this job in Truckee. And it said that it was 
BP. And it's clearly not. It, I was thinking I was going into a facility, into a plant or something. Not a Love's gas station. That's a little bit weird. All right, well, Love's, you got a, you got an electrical substation. Congratulations. Um, if you like what we're doing here today, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you see all the videos that I'm doing. And if you have any questions or comments about this truck or the Special Transport DLC, let me know. And that's going to do it for today. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.